I remember Brandywine. She came into this world on November 10th, 1987, and into our home and hearts eight weeks later. We had absolutely no idea what an impact she would have on our lives. My wife wanted a puppy. A loss of opso, she said, but I think she meant to be Sean Frise. There were many wonderful puppies that the puppy store we went to, including my wife's choices. However, there was this Shetland sheepdog who would not let me go to any other puppy. She kept eyeing me and waving at me. I guess she was flirting with me. Of all the people in the store, I was the one she chose to be her master. I showed her to my wife, who was fussing over a loss of opso at the moment, and she was also smitten. There was no way this little Sheltie was letting me get any other doggy. No discussion. She was ours. We took her home with us and set up a pen for her in the kitchen. A few hours later, I felt this bundle of fur cuddled up against my leg. Brandy had escaped from her pen and came to find me. If I didn't love her hours before, I certainly did at that moment. Thus began a tradition of denying her little, and the love she gave back to me and my wife was at least 10 times the amount we invested in her. Brandywine Cassandra departed from our happy little world eight years, 11 months, and eight days after she became part of our family. It was in the stars for her to leave. On her final morning, I stopped in to visit her at the vet. She used every bit of her energy just to lift her head to see me and say goodbye. She has now been gone from us for 17 years, nine years longer than we had her, but we still miss her. Now we have Tulula May, almost blind now, but still a sweetheart. She's our reward, a reward for having given so much love to Brandy.